Hey Virgo, welcome back to House of Virgo and another episode of your wonderful love life. <laughs> Let's take a look and see what your messages are going forward. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. You can also join my channel, become a member for $2.99 per month. Go check out those perks. All right, Virgo. So, okay. What, 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 what the heck is happening here? Heartbroken twin flame engagement ring. Okay. That's a little different. Let me just have a look here and see. Um, you know what, Virgo? That is some very contrasting energy right there. And um, yeah, I need to take a look here. Oh my goodness. Also, welcome to our new members, Trina Marcella, Tiffany Con Conlin. Welcome, welcome. Okay, Virgo. So let's get into this. What's going on? What is going on? Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, yin yang, twin flame, zen balance, union, coupling, complementing each other, engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. Hmm. Um, okay. I just want to get some cards here and see what the heck. What are they trying to tell you? Virgo, seriously. Heartbroken. <clears throat> Somebody is um, feeling sad right now, okay? Um, it is the day after Valentine's Day. Um, maybe you did not hear from someone special. Possibly. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm something over something ended perhaps I, I feel like you know there is an energy here of feeling like maybe there was an argument <clears throat> or going forward a feeling of heartbreak I, it mostly feels like someone special to you you may not have heard from on valentine's day or or maybe just yet you might be feeling sad grieving or mourning the loss um you and another person perhaps a divorce feeling sad after a divorce or some kind of like a legal separation okay let me see or another person libra possibly a libra there is an energy for some of you of a libra who's feeling um kind of like sad okay so if you had a connection with a libra that le you know obviously i just go more into the energy but i am picking up for some of you this could be with a libra okay it's not a court card but let's take a look and see i just saw the seven of swords so there could have been somebody ran away from a connection <clears throat> or was being deceitful maybe there was a third party kind of thing wow it's a shock oh my gosh uh scorpio energy somebody could be on the cusp of libra scorpio you know another the other person maybe someone you're connecting with but so i'm kind of like wow what the heck a sh like a shock what a way to start a reading um you might have ended something with someone virgo maybe you ended something or you uh, maybe you didn't send that happy valentine's day um uh wish to another person yesterday okay let's see but there's definitely an energy of like okay well it's justified someone feels like it's justified maybe somebody feels like they deserve deserve um to not have some kind of wish like that but it's like their whole world is crumbling that's really what it feels like mostly if you have a connection with someone and you didn't reach out or you didn't talk to this person or something it's like there's a breakup or, or it could have happened or it could be happening i feel like there's another person here who's like really their world's crumbled down okay but 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 i also hear this person saying well that's fair in an energy of like you know hurt but maybe they feel like they deserve that or they deserve it okay but it's shocking so virgo you might be that person that was always wishing um are always bringing the love and maybe you didn't i just saw like a piece of dust i don't like dust and maybe you didn't bring the love and this person 
Hmm. Let's see. Does that mean you don't love somebody? No. Is it because you're broken up with someone and, you know, maybe it wouldn't be the right thing to do if something has ended or uh, there's no communication between you and another person? Show me the justice card. Okay. Hmm. Um, I feel like somebody here feels like there might have been some breadcrumbing or they just, there's somebody here who, okay, wow. So uh, what are we, are, I guess we're empathizing with the other person, but it kind of feels like uh, there's this energy of like, they think that you must have somebody else and that's why you didn't wish them um, or bring the love. Okay, okay. Is that really the case? Or that you're not making someone a priority here? Looks like you're not making somebody a priority here. Wow, they think you've changed and moved on. Okay, Virgo. They think you've changed and moved on. We have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus. They think you have other suitors or there's somebody else and that's fair. Maybe they didn't commit. And it looks like you, you're you just like, whatever. But it, yeah, just, yeah, look, get the fool. So, I mean, this person, I feel like they, <laughs> they feel like you're a fool. You lost the best thing ever. <laughs> All right, Virgo. So, they, they, this person, whoever you, you are dealing with, they think that you have moved on. They think that you have set yourself free. Maybe after some breakup or or not, but, it, you know, there's some kind of discord in a connection here with someone and they see you just moving on, uh, maybe spreading yourself kind of thin, giving a little bit to this one, giving a little bit to that one. I feel like somebody here, whomever you have a connection with, feels like you have just changed. Like, it feels like they look at you like, wow. Virgo's really changed. Virgo's not chasing. Virgo's not paying attention. Virgo is moving on. They're shocked by this. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, you're not holding them up to some kind of higher standard. Um, why is my dog barking? You're not, it looks like you're not, like, they, maybe you did before, put them on some kind of, like, pedestal, like, idolize them in your communication of some sort. They think maybe you have somebody else so that you, you've got somebody else in like to replace them, a replacement. So yeah, I mean, I feel like there's a person here who is just kind of like, like they're hurt, but they're, they're like, okay, you know, I, that's fair. Um, I wasn't giving that much to Virgo anyway. I wasn't really, you know, maybe they feel like they deserve that. Okay. So let me take a look at you, Virgo. Oh my gosh. Mm, Virgo, you've got the Five of Pentacles here. This is a struggle. You want to talk to this person. You want to reach out. You want to have that good. You want to have faith. You're trying, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. You must be putting up some kind of boundary or just kind of putting yourself in this position where it's like, you know, you're not chasing or you're not, you know, You're schooling somebody, Virgo. You're schooling someone. That's what I feel like's going on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a struggle. It's maybe the... Like, it's something I feel like... Um, I don't know if it's the first time you've done this. For some of you, it might be. Which is why it's kind of difficult. But I feel like they look at you like you're setting yourself free and you're teaching them a lesson. You're trying to teach them a lesson. And it's getting through. I feel like it's getting through. Um, this person feels sad. You know, they're grieving the loss. But they also feel like with the justice card there that, you know, hey, I guess, like they say to themselves, hey, I guess I deserve that. There's the seven of swords again. So, yeah, I feel like 
they might feel like they deserve it because they were cheating or they were lying or being deceptive and you know about it either you called them out on it or you you haven't and you're just like whatever just letting your hand off the wheel with some kind of situation here you're not chasing anyone not for the rest of this week or the rest of this month so far um but they see that you have skipped town it's almost as if this person feels like you're doing to them what they did to you so if that's your story virgo if you have that kind of situation going on here um it, it feels they so they feel like it's a bit venge, vengeful but i i don't know virgo i want to take a look at you how do you feel well i was yeah i mean that's what i feel like you're doing you're just kind of like two can play that game and so for you it might not be vengeful it might just be you know you're just doing what comes best for you and this person here is holding the five swords so it's kind of like you're doing a cutoff and leaving this person to make the decision with the two of swords here they need to compromise or you're just out all right first court card queen of cups uh, water energy here but you um if this is coming through as you it feels like you are taking a look at your feelings but you're kind of like doing the x-ray vision to examine how you feel you're not opening that lid there you're not trying to say anything i always say this chalice looks like a robot to me and i feel like perhaps you look at this person with all your love and your heart but they are kind of robotic in some way like they don't they keep their feelings deep within maybe you've tried to nurture the relationship or be supportive but it's like there's no getting through okay let's see what else is going on with you yeah virgo like you're trying to shine light on the whole situation and and be happy for yourself and be in this bright like you're determined yes you're determined to have joy and happiness in your life okay and I know this is not going to be for everybody, but you know what, Virgo, if that's your story, your situation, good for you. Good for you to focus on yourself and make yourself happy and go after um, being in the sun. Okay, you've got the high priestess. You're letting your intuition figure things out as far as like what you need to do, what direction you need to go, um, what's your priority, what's most important um weighing your options kind of doing it within yourself and really just blocking but also keeping that energy to yourself and not letting somebody else know what's going on with you um yeah i kind of feel like that's the energy here you um you're trusting your intuition right now and there's some secrets that you might have or some things that you just know that you're not sharing um, that you're trying to while you're on your own trying to figure out what's real what's true what isn't okay and also with the four of pentacles your door is shut i feel like your door is your door is shut you're transitioning away from something let me see here so going forward for the rest of this month, it looks like you've pulled back some kind of energy here. Yeah, the moon. Yeah, you're not saying anything. If, if you're revealing anything, it's very little. You're not being direct. You're being a bit passive, quiet, paying attention to your dreams, trying to understand you know, what your dreams are trying to tell you. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Six of Cups. I do feel like um, this person is going to try to make a solid offer to you. Come in with that love. There is some type of reconciliation here or kindness or just some generosity or sincerity coming from this person. I feel like they're going to try to reach out to you. Um, and I feel like they're going to... They may have tried before if you and this person 
have had an official breakup. They may have tried before and you might have maybe not ready. Um, and here they are again with another love cup. But this time it's backed by some kind of solid offer. So you might get some kind of message from someone um, or communication from someone where their energy is like, you know, I deserve that. Um, and try to apologize, try to initiate the love between you two. Again, um, this definitely feels like an apology card for me. The Six of Cups, try to reconcile with you. Um, I feel like that's you and that you have your arms crossed, you're blocked. You might just be like, no, uh, you're not accepting it, not accepting or you don't want to, or you're just still kind of blocked in some way going forward. But I do see, and it's going to come slow. It's not going to be like right away. So maybe by the end of the month, the person reaches out, tries to make some kind of connection with you, uh, an apology, uh, send you some flowers to your work or to your home, or come with, um, you know, a sweet gift, or make some type of an offer, or give some type of for some of you yeah you know I, let me just say this this feels like a twin flame connection it does and the engagement ring i feel like this person's going to come in with the commitment or let's take a look at this i don't know why this is so it's a little purple isn't it <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Yeah, this. So look, I mean, to me, the pentacle is like, like a piece of metal. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's taken a long time. You might be that person with this with this person, where you wanted some kind of commitment or you want that now. They know it, Virgo. They know it. And if you cut somebody off because they were taking a really long time, or you're just like not engaging with the relationship anymore um they're going to engage with you but you i mean i feel like if that's the decision that you're making like they're not coming in with it they haven't if you've been dealing with this person and they haven't come in with a committed offer of, of anything even a freaking promise ring you know or even one of those little candy rings anything to show their 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 commitment to the relationship um and it's been going on for a long time, Virgo. Good for you. You know, I mean, you're not meant to just sit and wait for someone to get it together. You know, I mean, unless they have like valid reasons for why they can't um, go that, you know, that distance or they give you a time frame and you're, you guys like talk about it and you're like, okay, this, this is it. like Virgo, you got to put a cap on things like seriously. How long have you been waiting for someone? Okay, so it looks like you're just, you're done here, but here they come. They, they make the offer. Yeah, look, waiting and waiting for someone that wasn't committing or just anything, giving you anything. I mean, that's a joke because I feel like when someone is truly like they're all about you, like they feel like they don't want to be without you. Okay, now unless you're that Virgo that you have an avoidance kind of thing going on with you or you, uh, you, you you as soon as you get close to someone you you feel like oh it's just too much or you just can't do it and then if you keep what, running away from the relationship because of that you could be a runner you know I, I feel like in that scenario this person um like you can't you can't have it both ways like if you're constantly running away from the relationship because of your own fears and anxieties um and then this person isn't giving to you, then um, perhaps there's something there to look at. But if that, I don't know specifically what your story is, but I definitely feel like they're not giving up for whatever the situation is. I don't know what they did, if there was cheating or a third party thing going on or just, you know, even emotional cheating, keeping you as an option, I mean, then you have every right and you should. You should be like, no, I'm out. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I feel like you have some boundaries up here and maybe there was some ghosting or something went on and you're ghosting in return and they're coming in with this, this offer and it's kind of like, I don't know if I should accept this. Are they going to just ghost again? Look at the ghost. Like, is this real life? Okay, but they're coming in with it. 
you know and and so it doesn't have to be a ring for some of you it could be for others it's like you know uh, let's have that conversation about committing and moving things forward i mean with the twin flame i do feel like this is a twin flame connection and that might be part of the difficulty one might recognize that you guys are meant to be together and the other might be like they might not see that okay i mean this person wow <laughs> Virgo, let me just tell you something. If, you, if you're going to do it, if you haven't cut this person off yet and you decide that you're going to just self-respect and do what's right for yourself here, they're going to respect you. They're going to respect that. If you, Virgo, turn around and you're just like, you know what, I'm, I, I respect myself too much to sit around and wait while somebody else messes around or does whatever they're doing. They will respect you cutting them off because they will look at you and be like oh i guess virgo's not a doormat like don't be a doormat virgo it, even up to this point i don't care how long you've been waiting even up to this point you can change the narrative anytime and you don't have to kick yourself for hanging in there too long when you were getting nothing in return if that's your story so do it now you know and, and you don't have to be mean or anything you just kind of be like you know what winner winner chicken dinner over here you know um if you're messing around or you, you just don't want to do this or for whatever valid whatever reason unless unless this person is like completely i i don't even know unless they live under the sea in, in a pineapple somewhere i don't understand what the reason would be um unless of course you have some stuff going on with you like i said that you're very avoidant and you 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 run away and you're not ready you want to be with someone but you're not fully ready to be with them um, there's something there that maybe you have to look at but that's very small percentage of you okay i feel like this is more along the lines of like a very straight general kind of message here that this person um i feel like they love you but they didn't commit right and 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 i know that commitment is not the end all be all to everything okay because it takes two people to work on a relationship you know what i mean just getting the ring is not as important in the sense of like being together right that's what's more important however if somebody is not showing up for the relationship and they're not present for the relationship because relationships are like a daily thing you know or at least every couple of days we check in like we do with our plants you know plant you give your plants some water you nourish it put it in the sun it's good for a couple of days but you keep tending to it if somebody was not tending to the relationship and maybe they were tending to other relationships whether that's uh, uh, other romantic relationships or um putting everyone and everything under the sun as a priority above you and the relationship then yeah adios them effer <laughs> it's not narcissistic it's not egotistical you know what i mean i think it's something here look i'm telling you virgo this is definitely a twin flame We've got gemini libra here again i'm telling you now cutting off this person if based on what i'm saying i feel like that person whoever they are in your life is going to respect you you see they're heartbroken right why sad but they feel like they deserve it but you deserve better okay now this coming in slow with the knight of pentacles for some of you if that's what needs to happen fine if, if in order to get someone to actually come forward and really be serious about this relationship then cutting them off is what needs to be done okay but if it's coming in real slow and it's like now we're going into like say september you know i don't know virgo you you have to figure it out but you're gonna hear from them okay so you might even get like one of those um engagement rings at the bottom of a, of a champagne glass <laughs> Um, and there's an apology that somebody's coming in to apologize to you and this twin flame you know there is a complementary energy between the two of you there is like this yin yang kind of thing going on and I, as i was saying i felt like this person they may not have really recognized that and sometimes when you've got someone who's got like add of the heart they're all over the damn place they can't even focus 
So they're always like, okay, what else is out there? What else is out there? What other, you know, maybe traveling or looking for other um, engagements with other people, you know, um, and I'm not making excuses for someone. I feel like for you, Virgo, you like you need to cut your losses if someone is just not coming forward. And I don't care if it's a twin flame. That doesn't mean you should wait. Okay, just because you feel there's a connection, you know, if you've got if you've got like um, chemistry with someone, I mean, that's beautiful. But, you know, like I always say, you can have chemistry with your mailman or your mailwoman. That doesn't mean you two are meant to be together. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you can have chemistry with the cashier of the grocery store you go to every week. But they could have somebody else. They could be married. That doesn't mean you're meant to be together. The thing is, are you compatible? And just because you're twin flames and you have that chemistry and that energy together, are you compatible? What's your compatibility like? And I'm not just talking about, yeah, we agree on the same things. I'm talking about like there's lots of other situations. You have to be compatible all the way through. Do, do you guys fit into each other's worlds nicely? You know, and some of you, Virgo, maybe it's a false twin flame, but some of you, I feel like the message here is if you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and this person's taking a really long time to come in with that, that commitment kind of thing, cut your losses here and allow new love to come into your life. Absolutely. Because it's out there. We, we have chemistry with lots of people, but look for someone that you're compatible with. Look for someone that you have, like you can fit into each other's worlds nicely. All right, one last message for Virgo energy here. Oh, beautiful. You have the star. Okay. You're a star, Virgo. Remember who the F you are. Maybe you have blonde hair. Maybe you're out there in your bikini by the pool. <laughs> but you're a star, Virgo. Keep the faith. Keep the faith, Virgo. Renew your heart. Renew your spirit. Renew your faith. Your wishes, the things that you're wishing for, even if it's this person to come in, because they are going to come in, like that's going to come true. But for some of you, you're on this time. <laughs> you're on a time schedule here. Like this is a clock, you know? We got 11 o'clock, we got 1 o'clock, we've got 5 o'clock, and we have 7 o'clock. What is your. <clears throat> What is your time? Like, are you putting a cap on things? And I feel like when you, Virgo, are in this position where you view yourself as like that star, star energy, amazing, then it's really, it, when you make yourself that priority, like you, uh, what is that saying? You know, like that's you here. And these are all the other stars around you are just little stars, but you're the big, you're the big star, you're the big kahuna, you got the kahunas, you're the big one. When you view yourself as that, not in an egotistical way, don't go down that road, but in this, you know, I'm worthy. I shine bright like a diamond. I have that energy and it's somebody else's loss. You know, you can change the tune and the narrative at any time. Okay. You can renew yourself renew yourself and i feel like that's the overall message here going on don't I, I don't feel like you should put anyone on a pedestal virgo except for yourself in a positive light like in a good light if someone think if something's not working out for you just don't go into that doormat energy get out of that if you're in that okay somebody's birthday is september 15th someone is 50 September 9th, okay, we have the initial M, the initial A, we have Mary, Mark, August 31st, do you know what I forgot? Oh my goodness, what, the, what is it with me? You know, I do these every day, and have, I don't know why I don't have this memorized, let's look at your Chinese signs real quick, yours and this person, and then we'll get back more into that, all right, Chinese sign for Virgo and Virgo's person, okay, so you've got year of the rabbit, Year of the Tiger, Year of the Dragon, Year of the Rooster, Year of the Monkey, Double Monkey there, Year of the Goat, uh, Rabbit again, Year of the Horse, and one more, dun, dun, dun. Year of the Ox, okay, so that could be you, that could be the person that you're connecting with here, that this reading is about, 
And now they're just saying, let's get some love messages. What else does Virgo need to know? Margarita. Okay, you've got support. Lean on your inner circle during this time, Virgo. Very important. Whoever your soul tribe are, whoever's in your inner circle. People that want the best for you, but aren't going to be haters of anybody else. They just, they just want the best for you. Okay, release. Some of you, it's time. You got to let that go. You got to let go of someone that's not participating. You know, it's like when you're in school and you had the science project and then you had a science buddy you buddied up with and that person was contributing very little. Maybe they brought some of the things for the project, but they weren't showing up to participate in making the science project. I don't know. Maybe you guys had to build a volcano or something, you know, do you remember? And then like you were doing all the work. Does, did anybody experience that? If you experienced that, leave it, leave a comment or put it in the chat. But you were doing everything, and this person was passive, showing up once in a while. They're very inconsistent, um, and saying, "No, no, 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 I'm here, I'm here." But I just, I have this thing to do. Can you take care of this? And you were doing everything, like honestly, Virgo. And they get, they got the good grade just as much as you did, but you put in more of the effort. You know that that'll come back to bite them later in life. You don't have to worry about that right as long as you're doing what you need to be doing and good you were putting in the effort maintain that about yourself right but at some point you can't be the one doing it all constantly with a particular person like the next time you and this person have this project to do together and you get paired up you're gonna be running up to the teacher like sorry i can't work with this person i'm sorry no they don't show up no i wind up doing everything i don't have the time and energy can you find somebody else I need somebody else to work with. I mean, that's got to be the motto. It's kind of, like I'm all about the analogies, and I like to think in a very practical manner because love is sweet, love is lovely, everybody loves love, but partnership requires effort and work, like a business, you know? So, kind of take that objective view of this relationship. Now, yeah, this person is definitely going to come in and bring that commitment, but it's going the, the issue is it's going to be a while. So, you have to ask yourself are you willing to wait any longer? What's your time frame? What's your cap? Do you have a cap? Or are you just kind of willy-nilly and all over the place here? Like, ah, ah, go with the flow. Ah, whatever happens, happens. And then you end up alone. And this person decides to find somebody else. Right? No. Don't be a doormat. Set your cap. Do the cutoff if you need to. Virgo, you don't have time to spare here. Okay? Past life love. Definitely. This is a past connection here with someone that like I said with that twin flame you might feel like but there isn't anybody else this is the perfect person for me no 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 but are they Virgo really like are they uh, where are they Virgo where are they right now and where are you that's the energy yeah they long for you yeah they're heartbroken you know like I said if, if you've got that avoidance complex thing going on there's something there that you need to take a look at before you go move any further, even with anybody else. But if you don't have that going on and you, uh, now if you have an, an anxious attachment and you guys can go into my playlist because I have, um, it's, I think it's under like the podcast thing. I have um, videos on the avoidant attachment style, the anxious attachment style, the secure attachment. Definitely check that out so you can figure out where, you know, where in the, parameters if you are in any of those but if you have a severe anxious attachment where there's anxious attachment tends to be very smothering and and it, like as soon as the person doesn't text back within like five minutes the other person is like oh my god oh my god oh my god it that like you have to take a look at that so I, i'm not gonna like go into deep here because i'm not really sure where you lie because it's so general and it's for a lot of people but if this isn't and this you're just securely attached and you're fine and everything is cool and yeah sure you have your moments of anxiety and sometimes you have your moments of like oh i just need to be alone that's fine but if this is your situation from a on a general standpoint um and you have been showing up for the volcano project everybody give me a volcano in the chat here if you've been showing up for that this person is extremely passive maybe they're very anxious or avoidant you gotta take a look at that. So you have go slow. Take time to get to know each other. So listen. 
the other message here is maybe you need to understand what what this person has going on and those those little avoidant anxious secure attachment um, videos might help you understand who you might be dealing with okay um, and so if you're gonna wait if you're gonna hang around and just say okay look looking at your clock looking at your wrist you're looking at your eye watch your watch your apple watch you're like okay I got one more month I'm gonna give it one more month or I'm gonna give it this until the end of the summer till the end of the year I'm gonna give it a certain time I'm gonna give this person one week to come forward whatever your time period is use that time wisely for yourself and reevaluate ask yourself this this what you if you if you want this okay you do have here and now so your true love is already part of your life and that's all well and good okay they might be a part of your life but how much how much are they a part of your life okay how much virgo if they're in your life every single day if they're in your life every single day and they haven't made a commitment after at least anywhere between like the minimum three months the maximum one year if that hasn't happened within that time from the time you met up up until at least a year you need not be hanging around unless there's an absolute valid no holds barred reason for why you guys can't be together and there could be many i don't know what they are but if that's your situation that's a completely different story if you've got somebody here that's just stringing along kicking the can for it or doing any kind of thing like that nope don't even that person put them on the back burner nope don't even we don't waste your time with that all right so you've got taurus here taurus are stubborn they can be august 29th we've got the letter a another a september 3rd oh got the letter x someone's birthday is in march could be dealing with a Pisces or an early Aries. Um, 1989. Someone's born in 1989. Okay, someone's 36. August 23rd. Someone's 56. Someone's 43. We have the letter N. I'm hearing Nan. Or n someone's from Vietnam. <laughs> Nan, Nancy. Uh, what am I missing? I saw something. Did I not call it? 43? Okay. Someone's born in 1968. We have a 1985. Okay. We have the letter K, the letter O put together. You're a knockout, Virgo. Then we have an H and an O under there. Ho. <laughs> Maybe you're a ho. No, just kidding. <laughs> Maybe this person's a hoe. Virgo, you're a knockout and they're a hoe. I don't know. Look, I rhymed. We've got 49. Someone might be 49. Someone's 29. Somebody's birthday might be March 29th. All right, let's try to see if we can get other signs here. All right, Taurus, Taurus, Scorpio. Pfft. So that's three times you had Taurus. There's definitely some Taurus energy. Um, those signs those two signs are very fixed energy they don't budge not they generally do not fixed if you have a connection with a fixed sign leo aquarius scorpio or taurus they get their feet cemented into the ground that's generally the the energy with them but they're also the types um when it comes to relationships like they barely budge they really don't they don't change their routines they stick things very much they want everything the same or they want to keep people where they are that generally is the way that they are. Nobody want, they don't want anyone to go. We've got Aquarius here. You have Cancer. You have Capricorn. They hold on real tight. Like they just, I don't know if you've seen like, like a lamppost, how it's like cemented into the ground. Like they don't budge and nobody else can budge either. Okay, you have Pisces. Very fluid. You've got Aries and another Virgo here. So those could be the signs that you are connecting with. Show me September birthday, September 8th. All right, and a couple more. And then we'll get into the charms that you all just love. And if you are a member of my channel, you have joined, check out the emoji. You get really cool emojis that everybody else does not get. Okay, so you can use them in the chat. You can use them in the comments. Okay, you have the letter P. 
you have the letter I. Okay. Ypsilanti. Oh, and then that looks like an HP. And you have 1978. Okay, you might be printing something. HP inkjet. Maybe you're printing something or you're a printer. <clears throat> Excuse me. It could be like your, your job or you work for a printing company. All right, let's see. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, one charm. We're going to do one charm. So you have a bat. Okay, very Halloween energy, a bat. Maybe someone's favorite holiday is, or their favorite, um, yeah, Halloween might be their favorite holiday. Is Halloween like a holiday? Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, it is, of course. Um, uh, somebody might be hitting balls with a bat or like something about baseball there might be a baseball connection um the thing with the bats though is that like they can't see they feel um i'm just reminded of a bruce lee quote don't think feel <laughs> maybe somebody likes bruce lee or just has that energy um you know it's funny thinking i, I posted this on my facebook and my instagram um thinking overthinking can destroy your happiness but overthinking can also destroy your faith okay so it's really important i like to say take a jerry seinfeld approach just be like ah whatever happens happens you know just kind of be like and i know that's just a character but it's just don't stress yourself over things virgo try not to and the stress comes from overthinking if you're going to do any overthinking because you really it's hard to stop that you can put a stop to it. You can't stop it from ha beginning, but you can end it. You can not linger in overthinking. But if you in, if you're just like you know what I just I can't manage how to stop this overthinking. Don't go down rabbit holes. If you're gonna do any overthinking, do it positive, positive overthinking, positive thoughts. Put your energy into positive thinking. If you must overthink things or try to figure out, th don't try to figure things out. Just everything everything comes out in the wash eventually so don't stress yourself i know you like to be a great investigator some most virgos that i know well of all the detectives and people that work in police i know are virgos which is interesting maybe you work in that industry or in the police or you're like i don't know in legal or you do something with investigating of some sort Th that's fine if you're going to get paid but don't waste your time nobody's paying <laughs> you're not getting paid to uh, have somebody rent space in your head so don't unless they're paying you <laughs> don't waste your time all right Virgo I'm gonna leave that there that was fun I think and enjoyable tomorrow I'll be here with your weekend reading I cannot believe that oh my gosh we're almost at the end of February already uh yes just bring warm weather I'm up here in the northeast and I'm done with the cold I don't know about you guys but I am done with the cold so yeah i'm gonna leave that here thanks everybody for joining thank you to all the mods you guys are awesome shout out to you guys and uh if you want to get a personal reading don't forget there's a link in the description box below you can book your reading you can book a text message reading right um five questions just go ahead and book it and i'll reply pretty quickly and uh yeah that's it have a fantastic evening fantastic day happy valentine's day to those of you who i didn't get to say it to <laughs> catch me outside how about that love you guys all right bye hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light filled life thank you bye